the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston. I'm Adriana Benavides, and we are going to explore how artists create movement in their artwork. We are going to answer questions as we learn. You will need a piece of paper and something to write with like a pencil. An exhibition is a place where art objects are on display and people are able to come and see the objects. We are going to look at artwork from the exhibition A Better Yesterday with artwork from artist Ju Young Che and Fired Broken Gathered Heat with artwork from Annabeth Rosen. As we look at this artwork from both artists, let's think about movement. Look at this video by Houston-based artist Ju Young Che. How is she making the characters in this artwork move? Write a list of all the objects and people moving in this clip from her artwork. Pause the video and draw your picture. The woman moving in this video is the artist Ju Young Che herself. Check out Ju Young and Pup Pup the puppet. She designs all the animations, the puppets, and the costumes for her videos. In many different kinds of art forms, the artist helps us understand the imaginary world she's created called the cosmic womb. For her videos, Ju Young makes puppets of her imaginary friends like Pup Pup who live in the cosmic womb. We know Ju Young's hand is moving the puppet, and we can tell that she plays all the different human-like heroes. But the details she creates for each personality is what moves us to want to know more and explore this world. Ju Young also creates sculptures. Sculptures are three-dimensional art objects. A three-dimensional shape is a solid figure or an object or shape that has three dimensions, length, width, and height. When you first walk into the space where the artwork is on view for you and me to see, this is the first object we see. Annabeth Rosen also creates sculptures, but before I tell you more about each sculpture, compare and contrast your observations. What kind of material do you think Annabeth Rosen's artwork Wave is made out of? How do you think Ju Young Che's artwork was made? Think about how each artist is creating movement in their artwork. Did you guess clay as the material Annabeth Rosen uses to make her artwork? If so, you're correct. Annabeth Rosen is inspired by clay and enjoys the challenge of making artwork from this material. Did you guess that Ju Young Che's sewing and fabric to create her sculpture? Sculptures, especially ones made from clay, take a lot of time to create. There are many steps in making a ceramic sculpture. In both artworks, each one of the shapes had to be sculpted individually. Trace the outline of this object using the top of the artwork to the bottom. Our movements resemble that of an ocean wave. The direction of all the individual ceramic pieces give the artwork movement. It makes me wonder how long this artwork took to make. The name of the dinosaur in Ju Young's artwork is perennial. Are these characters moving? Not really. But we move around the artwork object to understand it, and we can tell that all the characters are resting on the dinosaur. How do each of these artists use movement to help us understand their artwork more? Does the title of Annabeth Rosen's artwork help us understand her inspiration? Tell me why. Pause the video and respond. Both artists use movement to help us understand their ideas. Ju Young uses paintings, videos, and puppets to bring her characters to life. We understand the cosmic womb and almost feel like we're moving through the imaginary world 
because she uses multiple kinds of artworks to tell a story. In a very different way, Annabeth Rosen uses ceramics and drawings to show us how the clay inspires her through imperfections and unexpected movement in the art making process. Ju Young Che and Annabeth Rosen are good examples of how artists can create movement beyond the lines on paper. How will you bring your artwork to life?